G'day, I'm Gary from Grace Faith Christian Discipleship and today I want to talk to you about faith. You know, there seems to be a little bit of debate and it's brought about by the, the wording in the various versions of the Bible about whose faith it is. The King James Version of the Bible on I might say the majority of occasions says the faith of Christ rather than faith in Christ. I know on some occasions it speaks about uh, us having faith in, in Christ, but on many occasions it talks about the faith of Christ. So I believe there's both. I believe we have faith and I believe that we were given the measure of faith which I believe is the faith of Christ. But I want to um, I want to show that we actually have our own faith as well as I'm talking about born again believers here as well as having the faith of Christ on the inside of us. Take the uh, the scenario of before we are born again because the faith of Christ is a gift at the new birth. At the new birth we are given the measure of faith, not a measure, we are given the measure of faith. But step back a bit, before you've received Christ, Christ. I want to go to Hebrews chapter 4 and I will read to you from my smartphone I want to read Hebrews 4 chapter Hebrews chapter 4 verse 2 For indeed the gospel was preached to us as well as to them So we're all unbelievers at this stage where we're hearing the gospel of Jesus Christ For indeed the gospel was preached to us as well as to them But the word which they heard did not profit them not being mixed with faith in those who heard it. For we who have believed do enter that rest. You see, faith is a rest. And what we do when we hear the gospel, if I can put it this way, when the gospel is brought to you, when somebody comes to you and tells you about Jesus before you're born again, you have the opportunity to either accept the gospel or to reject it. It is the incorruptible word of God. So there's nothing wrong with the seed. It's the heart it's being sown in. So you can either accept it or reject it. And that's just like a switch. Jesus said, only believe. He didn't tell us to have great faith. He said, only believe. The Christian walk is just merely that. It's every step is a choice to believe the Word of God rather than what the world presents to you, what circumstances present to you, but to believe the Word of God. When the Word of God comes to us, we, can I put it that we're in a neutral position, not in a position of faith, not in a position of unbelief, but in a neutral position. If we choose, as Hebrews 4.2 describes, um, people not believing, not choosing to believe, then we go into a position of unbelief. Because unbelief is rejection of the Word of God. Unbelief is anything that is contrary to what the Bible tells us. But if, like we did, those of us who are born again, if we accept the gospel and choose, click, we choose to receive the word that's being preached to us, we mix it with faith. But it can't be the faith of Christ because up until that point, we're not born again. The faith of Christ only arrives or only comes at that point when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Saviour. So we choose to believe, and we mix it with faith. 
I put it to you that at that point, it's our faith. At that point, in a moment of time, we received salvation in accordance with Romans 10, verses 9 and 10. And verse 9 says that if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved, eternal life in heaven. At that moment in time, the Holy Spirit baptizes us into the body of Christ. And we receive the Holy Spirit. He comes to abide in us. Our body becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. We receive the faith of Christ. We receive the mind of Christ. It's all in our spirit. It's just the perfect, the perfect package. But getting back to the topic that we're talking about, faith. I'm convinced that we operate in both our faith and we operate in the faith of Christ. See, Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith the author and finisher of our faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Let me just see if I can find that. Yeah, here it is. Romans chapter 10 verse 17. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Praise God. Maybe that's enough to digest for now, but I will come back to you with more on the topic of faith in um, maybe a short time. <laughs> I hope so. I'm meeting up with Gary Moroni, Pastor Gary Moroni on, when is that, Tuesday morning? Um, I'm speaking to you on Sunday afternoon right now. Uh, yeah, so Gary's on fire about faith, so uh, he's been talking to me about it today, and that's basically why I'm doing, putting this uh, talking heads. Maybe I should say talking head video down now, because there's only one of me here. <laughs> God bless you. Bye for now. More to come. See you soon.